All right, this video is for everybody that's done the uh, root video and the fixed lag video from me on the Galaxy S Vibrant. What I'm doing is, is I'm displaying my phone up on the TV screen. Now, how you do that is, for those of you first that haven't done my lag fix, when you move this, you know how slow it is when you first go to the start screen, check this out. Instant. Anyways, after that, now you go to settings, and it's the sounds and display, and you scroll to the bottom, and it's TV out, and check it. Now, you buy this cable at Best Buy, and it's called a 3.5 millimeter jack out to RCA. And when you buy this cable, it's going to be, the red one is actually yellow, and the yellow one is actually red when you plug it in the back of your TV, okay? I promise you. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Now, let's get to it. At the top of the screen, you see those two icons. That's what we want to see when by the time we're done with the video only. Now, below that in the left hand corner of the screen is something called super user permissions. You should have seen this in your apps already. You can scroll through. Let's see. See, it's right there under set CPU. Okay? Now, inside this application are the programs that give you the super user permission for rooted phones. What you want to see by the time this video is over is Barnacle Wi-Fi Legacy, Set CPU, and MCR scripts unless you have other rooted phones with other programs, okay? Now, inside this program, I want you to hit the menu button on your phone. Pull up preferences and click it. And then I want you to click notifications. That way it notifies you every time something uses your phone as a re uh, rooted program. Okay, go back and then hit home. Below that is set CPU. Now, in this program, as you see up top, see it? It says set CPU has been permission granted. All right, that's that, that granted permission notification. Now, in this program, when you guys first start it, you're going to be at this screen. At this screen, I want you to hit the auto detect speeds recommended. Okay, and then hit OK after you read that if you want. Now we go in here, read that, and if you like, hit OK. When you get to this part of the phone, what you're going to be at is your phone's going to look like this. 100,000 100, max, 100,000 minimum. Now, and it's going to be on set on conservative. What I want you to do is move that bottom bar over to 100,000 minimum and maximum and then touch the gray box and set it for performance and then click the box that says set on boot. Click profiles at the top, hit enable and hit notifications and then click back to main menu and hit the home button. Now at the top of the screen you'll see a little black icon, okay? That's what we want to see. Below that we have Quadro, Quadra Standard. You guys already ran your Quadra Standard scores, okay? Below that I have Systems. It's, it's called System Panel in the Market. You guys should get it, okay? You need to get it actually. Let's click it. A rundown of this program. At the top, in the left hand corner, you see my CPU usage. You see my memory in between that and storage on the end. Up in the right hand corner, you see CPU clock clocking at the specified speed and it's all the way but yet in the left hand corner you see my cpu is idling perfectly good job now below that you see these programs right here here's how you do this let's click battery life all you do is touch it and it says nowhere it says excluded in orange in the bottom left hand corner is excluded touch that and that becomes yes now hit the back button now you see the excluded next to battery life. That means it's excluded for mass kill. But I personally don't want that excluded, so I'm going to unexclude it. Now, in your phone, what you want is the aquarium. If you're running like a live wallpaper, you want that excluded. You want, if you're running better keyboard, you want that excluded. You want device management excluded. You want set CPU excluded. Super user permissions excluded. System panel excluded. And TW launcher excluded. Unless you're using um, A Home, Open Home, or Panda Home. You exclude those ones. Now, in the inactive applications, you want logs provider excluded. 
and you want settings excluded, and that is it. Now, how we get to all these apps is we want to go to the green part on the phone that says menu, click it. Now we want to go to settings. I want your phone to look just like mine, okay? Monitoring enabled, and then below that, monitoring settings, check, click it. And I want you to click all three of those boxes, make them green. We want to go down, and you want all these boxes checked. And then when we get to the bottom where it says plot settings, we want to check it, and we want to have all three of those checked. And in doing so, you get to see all this. Now, after you guys exclude the programs you need, I want you to hit end all. Now, at end all, you have inactive, background apps, active apps, excluded apps, and system apps. Okay, this is very important. We don't want our bars to look like that. Okay, we don't want to mass kill the whole phone. What we want to do is we want to click active apps. And you see how that bar drops? Even if I hit inactive apps. See, it'll only close whatever is highlighted. But we want to close active apps, background apps, and inactive apps. That is it. Okay, after that, hit in tasks. See how all those ones stay, but everything else goes? Now my CPU usage goes up, but it'll dramatically drop here in a second. See that? Now it dropped. Now I'm really running fast. Okay, now, out of this program, what we also want to do is hit monitor. Now for monitor, you can see what we're doing. You can see system, the CPU activity, idle and user is in the top box. Below that is the actual bar gram. Network, then memory, set SD card, battery, and temperature. Okay? Next to that is history, and you can see the history of your phone. You go into plots, and you can touch the applications and see what applications are running your phone crazy. But as you can see, the numbers, it's running good. Okay. After that, what we do now is we got Barnacle Wi-Fi tethering to tether your cell phone to connect to laptops, uh, PS3s, and those things so you can use the internet without you paying for it again. Now, Barnacle Wi-Fi tethering, you should hit allow within it when you're done with my other two, three, four program uh, videos, okay? Now what we do here is, is we hit the start button. Now it'll say, process is starting successfully, and at the top you see it says super user permission granted, sharing your connection. Now, you have all those icons at the top of your phone at this point. This is what you should have. Okay, after hitting the uh, start button on Barnacle Wi-Fi Legacy, we go to your PC and we go to the Wi-Fi. Now, on the Wi-Fi, it's going to show up as Barnacle. When we touch Barnacle to associate with it, we go back to the phone and we hit the associate button on the phone okay connected see that it says connected up top on the bar of the the laptop if you can see it what it's gonna do you see it's connecting all right once it's done it's going to show a little computer screen inside there instead of bars. Now, this is from the cell phone, you guys. Not on 3G, but edge work. All right. Now, I'm going to hit Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox. Sorry about that. It pulls up. Now, I'm going to go to the top, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch Google. Running off my cell phone's Wi-Fi. All right, we're at Google. Now, I'm going to go to YouTube, okay? That's on the edge network on my cell phone running this, this laptop Wi-Fi. Now, um, let's go to msn.com. msn.com. All right, you see how fast that pulls up? That's the Wi-Fi tethering, okay? That's what we rooted our phones for so we can do this to our laptops, PS3s, um, and do all that again. Google, fast, right? YouTube, straight from the cell phone's Wi-Fi signal of Edge, not 3G, Edge, man. So imagine if you guys were using the 3G network to do this to your laptops. Okay, now, back over here, when you're done, what you do is, is you hit the, of course, 
stop button on your cell phone and that will stop the connection to your laptop okay now I hope you guys have taken in consideration the videos and rated them and 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 done everything you know gave me my stars and stuff but this is just a rundown on everything that you should see on your phone and have on your phone after rooting uh, and doing the lag fix you need to have the superior user permission the little ninja you need to have set CPU you need to have quadra standard and you should have systems panel and barnacle Wi-Fi legacy okay and Astro you already have that if you watched my videos but the rest of this is how you guys look at it and of course I'm running this over a high-definition TV with uh, my live background now after setting up your phone on your home screen there's a widget okay what you do is you hold down your finger on the screen and this will pull up and you want to go to Android widgets inside Android widgets you want to scroll you can pick set CPU to be on and you can pick set panel and all okay now when you collect set click these you can have them on your phone and this is what they'll look like now you can change the color of things of course we'll just leave it the same but you guys can change it now that's what set CPU looks like okay when you touch that icon it'll take you straight into the app okay hit back I don't want to be in that app now on the other one the system monitor button that's what it looks like a square X'd out red with that now when you touch that button it mass kills everything in and all applications the ones that we excluded now at the top of the bar you guys see those dollar those number signs what that says is super user permissions barnacle Wi-Fi legacy has been granted and set CPU has been granted you should see these things every time something asks for root permission that you've allowed okay and above that you should have system panel and main profile running at these numbers okay now if you're doing all these things your phone's gonna run smooth all right you guys I hope you liked the videos I hope you did leave comments and I hope you did leave stars but this is just a rundown on the applications that you should have on your phone and what you need to do to get your phone running smooth to make it stay smooth okay now after all that's said and done what you want to do is you want to go to quadra standard and you want to run a full benchmark again okay after you run your full benchmark I want you to hit the home the the back button and then the home button and your phone will stick at the benchmark that it's given okay you guys well you know how this program works so what I'm gonna do is in the video now and we're at 13 minutes and 10 seconds so you guys have a great day and I hope you like the videos and leave some feedback and if you rooted and f rooted and did the lag fix please leave me some love with the stars in the comments I appreciate it thank you